I feel like a worship leading ninja. That needs to be a t-shirt. Worship leader ninja. <laughs> What's up? My name is Evan DiDio. I'm here to bring you a quick minute, around a minute or so, of some worship leading tips. Now, I've had lots of questions in the past about leading worship, about um, being a music director or whatever, and I realized through a friend of mine that all of those questions could be answered with just two simple words. So we're gonna talk about what that is, but first I'd like to read to you a quote from one of my new favorite books called Pioneers of His Presence. It's by Chris Burns. I'll link it up in the description below so you can check it out. It's a really good anointed book talking about the next wave of worship that's coming to America and to the world. But I wanna go ahead and read this clip to you that I think is really inspiring and really encouraging. We are from heaven. We were born of God and our primary purpose in every act, great and small, is to bring his kingdom his culture, and his way of life here on earth. Now that's a big task, guys. That's that's something daunting to think about, that we have to bring his culture down to earth. It's hard enough to keep the congregation, to keep their attention, let alone bring his culture and put it in the middle of them. So yeah, it does seem very daunting. It seems like a hard task, but it's important for the day in which we're living in. Now you might be thinking, how in the world are we gonna be able to do that? How how can we bring his culture and how can we make the church the way he wants it to be? And I asked a friend of mine just the other day, if you could give new praise and worship leaders or even praise and worship leaders that just need some help, a piece of advice, what would that piece of advice be? And she said two words, and I got excited because I kind of knew where she was going. Two words, be led. And that just, that just made me realize I needed to share this video with you because if you have questions about leading worship, if you know that you have some problems, if you don't know which way to turn to next, you might you can purchase all the books in the world. You could you could download all of the courses on worship leading and all of that's great and all of that's fine. But if you can't be led, then all that other stuff isn't going to help very much. If we can't go where God wants us to go, then where are we going in the first place? So I hope that that helps you be led. And if you'd like to see some more videos in the future on how to be led of the spirit, let me know in the comments section below. Here's a question for you. If you could give new praise and worship leaders or even some praise and worship leaders that need some help, some advice, what would that be? We are a community and we need to make sure we stick together, especially in times that we're living in right now. Right now, guys, there's a pandemic going on. So we need to make sure we band together and we stick together to make sure we get through this together. Now, I think that was a little bit longer than a minute. Be sure to subscribe for future worship minutes as well as other praise and worship team tips and tools for teens, really for all age levels. But if it's for teens, psh, anybody can understand it, right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Worship leader ninja. Wah, wah.